Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iOS. So it's actually the same thing if you guys have an iPhone iPod Touch. So if you're watching this, you have something else, it's going to be the exact same instructions. So if you guys hear footsteps on the background, that's actually my dog, so don't mind it. She's just walking around. Anyways, let's just go right into your settings. In your settings, the very first thing you guys should see is your name or your iPad's name. So go right into the and make that backup, okay? So manually make that backup under iCloud. If you guys have no more space on iCloud, just download iTunes, which is free for both Mac and PC, and just hook it up to your computer and make that backup right there. This software update, you guys can always go to iTunes and update it from there. Once again, iTunes is something on your computer that you guys can download and that means you just have to hook up your iPad to your computer in order to do that. Anyways, right now we're just going to go into software update. So that's under general. Once you guys hit general, just go to software update, which is your second option. And right here, it might take a little bit in order for this to load. Just let it be. For some of you, you may not see download and install. You might see just install right away. And that's because you might already have downloaded the update already. So that's going to cut down a lot of time that you guys are going to do this. So just make sure automatic updates are off. So that's down here below. You guys will see automatic updates. Make sure that's turned off because you don't just want your iPad to do this by itself because if something happens and you wake up and might not be working, you don't know why. However, right now we made sure that we have our backup and we're making sure of what we're doing. So if there's a lot of errors here in this update then we might not even choose to make the update just yet but update it later on once they fix those bugs anyways for now we're just going to click on download and install it's going to ask you for your passcode if you have one once we put in our passcode it's just going to start downloading so how long will this take well in total what i usually say is 20 minutes and that's including installation times but there's slower internets out there, so this could take an hour or two. Anything over two hours, I would say that would be way too much. So right now it's telling me about two hours, but that's not true. My internet's not that slow. So if you guys see something like that right away, don't worry about it. It's gonna cut down, cut down, cut down. Make sure you guys have at least 50% of your battery. Even if you guys have more than that, just hook it up to some electricity. You do not want your iPad to die once it's installing the update because then your guys will have to restore it. And that's why I always tell you guys to make that backup. So it actually took a lot longer than I thought to download this. Yes, my internet was a little bit slow, but it took about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. So right now, if you guys tap on install now, it's just gonna restart. We're gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar. So we're just gonna tap on install now. It's gonna verify the update. And again, we're gonna see that Apple logo and a loading bar right after. So this would be the second time you guys should see an Apple logo plus this loading bar. Now it's sideways just because I have my iPad sideways. But anyways, this is exactly what you guys are going to see. The bar is going to get full and then it's on the next step. After that, it's just going to start up. So just put in your passcode right now. That is if you guys have passcode, then it's going to tell you this update completed, continue. We're going to see our terms and conditions. Just press agree, which is down below. And here we go. So there's Apple Pay. I'm not going to set that up. And again, we're going to have the same thing as an iPhone iPod Touch, where we can have our light or dark mode. We're just going to set it up as dark mode right now. because I do like that better. Although out in the sun, most likely your light will be better than the dark mode. Press continue and welcome to iPad. Get started and there we go you will notice that all the icons are smaller okay and there's a couple of different things that can happen right here in iOS 13 with your iPad OS anyways I'm gonna go through those in another video where I'm gonna show you everything you guys can do there's a lot of things that you guys can do right now with your iPad that we we could do before but they're just a little bit different now and they look for me a little bit more sleek Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.